We thought it'd be great just to have a little reflection on the conference and really leave it um, to you guys to talk about that. David has been one of our co-hosts for the whole event downstairs um, uh, and it would be great to get some highlights from you as well. Uh, so, um, Sabine, can you just t tell me, what, 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 what have you taken away from today? I've taken away that there's actually a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of applications that are having a real-world impact. So I think it's nice to see that we're moving away from the fiction into the reality and actually doing things um, that people will need. Was that trust is critical. If we're going to move forward with this technology, the ability to um, have trust in the creators of that technology is critical to the adoption, the success, and the um, acceptance we have of the kind of profound changes that can be made as a result of deploying this technology. We want to create machines which are more like us. Is that a good thing to do? I mean, the, so I, I, the, the trust, to pick up on the trust thing, I think another way of looking at it is, what does it mean to be trustworthy? I asked, I asked the other day, am I talking to a bot or a robot? Right. She said, no, I'm Maria in Dublin. <laughs> so I thought I can put in subclauses in my questions. <laughs> a very tight group controlling the future is just that's terrifying, whereas you know, if we bring in 13-year-olds, 80-year-olds, and we have a diverse, we, we will end up really releasing the power of this technology. Robbie? Yeah, it's compassion and intelligence, because it's happening, it's now, it's around us, they're already at work. Let's approach this, use our wise judgment, um, and let's approach it with deep compassion, not schadenfreude and intelligence. We should She's shoot through a conference next time yeah, with, with people from all sorts of different ages, but let's invite some 80-year-olds as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely.